Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a desk tour video for you. So we can go ahead and get started and I can show you all the art supplies that I have and how I keep my desk organized. So here is my Nintendo Switch dock that I have with an Animal Crossing skin. And here is my 15 inch TV that I use for tabletop mode with the Switch. I have this portrait, watercolor portrait of one of my cats and I will link the artist Instagram. Here is where I keep all my most used stationary supplies. So I have a whole bunch of washi tapes here. I have my Apple Pencil. I have some pencil cases and some of my favorite pastel pens. And the milk pouch, I have some more washi tapes and I have these thin washi tapes here. And I have this cute boba keychain that I have to decorate. Here is a Hamu Hamu pen holder organizer that I have. Um, I've had it since I was a child and is one of the cute characters um, that my city had for like office accessories a couple of years ago. Here I keep uh, rulers, some Poscas, and this is a proport proportionizer tool so you can make something uh, bigger or smaller depending on which way you use it. Here I keep all my paint brushes that I use for acrylic and oil and I keep them in a little pumpkin container that I use all year round. Here I keep my gesso for acrylic and oil and then I have a terpenoid natural, which is an alternative to use with oil painting. Here I have my Overwatch water bottle, my iPad Pro, the journal that I use every day, and this is the Logitech Pebble Mouse. This is my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Here I have my desk diffuser that I use with lavender essential oil and a geode coaster under it. This is the laptop bag that I use. I got it from AliExpress. It's a cute pink jelly beans uh, 13 inch pouch. This is the first drawer here, so I have my Nintendo Switch and some extra Joy-Cons. I have these little tea towels that I like to use uh, for when I have my iced coffee in the morning. I have some stamps here and some paper for my HP Sprocket printer, some old business cards, my AirPods, and this pouch here. I keep my electronics, like the keyboard I use for my iPad and charging cables. And here I have my sketchbook, which is almost complete, so I think I might do a sketchbook tour soon. And this is stuff that I use for pen pal letters. This is the second drawer, which is my watercolor and gouache drawer. So these are the uh, Holbein acrylic gouache. I really like these. Um, I have mainly pastel colors. This is my watercolor palette and this is some Demco liquid frisket. I have some detail brushes that I use, my paint brushes for gouache and watercolor, and some water brushes, and this is a 24 set of opaque watercolors. Uh, they are in pans, circular pans. 
And here I have my uh, Turner gouache uh, set. Next drawer is my favorite drawer. It is my oil painting uh, supply drawer. So I have these oil bars and I'm really upset because Windsor & Newton discontinued them. So I have to find alternatives to that um, because I really do love them a lot. Uh, these are some solvent-free uh, oil mediums that I use and I keep them in a plastic bag. Uh, because they spill. Uh, I have some Gamvar gloss varnish, uh, some cold wax medium which I have yet to use still. Um, I have a glass scraper and these are the paints that I use which is Gamblin 1980 or the Gamblin Artist oil uh, paint. And here I have my water mixable oil medium. So I have all the mediums, I think, the fast drying, the stand oil, um, the mixer for it as well. And this is a uh, pink soap for washing brushes. And I have some large tubes of oil paint. So this is Mixing White uh, by Georgian. And this is the Windsor Newton uh, water mixable white. In this pouch, I keep my uh, water mixable oils. Next drawer is where I keep all my inks. So this is what I use for Inktober. I keep my Tombow markers in that pouch. Here I have some fluorescent oil pastels. Here's my uh, soft pastels, soft oil pastels. I have some watercolor pencils and some other uh, pencils. Uh, that tin is my Faber Castell 120 set of the Polychromos. Here I have some handmade soft pastels. Next drawer is my acrylic paint drawer. So this is how I store my paints and I have some golden fluid acrylics. I have this tub of Payne's Gray by Golden and I have the System 3 Daler and Rowney acrylic paints and some Windsor, Windsor and Newton Galleria. Uh, acrylic paint and golden acrylics which are my favorite uh, they are really great quality and in this pouch here I keep my palette knives and this is a large uh, metal palette knife that I use and these are fluorescent acrylic gouache paints by Liquitex and these are some medium, so slow dry fluid retarder, and that is actually what it is called. Uh, back here, I keep my large tubes of acrylic paint. And here I just have some tubs of mediums, and this is light modeling paste. Uh, this is some iridescent paint, uh, my favorite texture paste uh, to use with my paintings. Um, and here is clear modeling paste. Now onto the next side of my drawer. Uh, here is a book that I'm reading, the Art Therapy Source book. Here I have a, a corner rounder and my business card, some double-sided tape uh, and a sticky tape roller and a uh, stapless, stapleless stapler. <laughs> And this is my Hobonichi cover, uh, which will be the next uh, planner that I'll be getting when it's released. Um, and this is my budgeting book uh, that I use to keep track of everything. Back here is a pouch uh, full of pens and pencils. My craft blades that I use are here. Uh, some Apple pencil tips. And the next drawer is my paper and sketchbook drawer. So this is a mixed media a square sketchbook. These are some test prints that I made uh, for my Etsy shop, which will be released uh, very soon. 
And here I have my mixed media sketchbook and this sketchbook that I use here, um, I use for uh, self art therapy exercises that I like to do. And I've used it for school as well before. Here I have some photo paper, a uh, Bristol pad, the Arches uh, oil paper. So that's paper that you can use with oil paint. This is an acrylic pad and under all of that I have my glass palette that I use for oil and acrylic. Next drawer is my stationary drawer. So this is where I keep all my large stickers and sticker flakes and kind of envelopes like this. And I have this red folio for other stickers. And then I have um, these little sticker flake boxes and these are all of my memo pads that I have. These are some washi tape samples that I got from a pen pal letter, uh, some strawberry sticky notes that I got from AliExpress, a bunch of scrapbook decals that I like to use for journaling. This is a memo, uh, not a memo, a pen pal letter set uh, that's cat themed. And then I have these like cardstock uh, designs of plants and flowers and I have this Sumeko Garashi uh, letter set. Next drawer I have uh, basically all my sprays and stuff so this whoosh spray is what I use to clean my laptop and my tablet and my electronics and then I have uh, spray mediums, I have uh, matte varnish and gloss varnish and I also have some packing tape. This is the final drawer and it's kind of messy. So this is all my stuff that I keep for filming. I have a gaming mouse, my uh, iPad charger and a uh, doll in here that I'm going to customize at some point. Uh, I have this Obitsu doll, which, which I love to use for uh, poses and reference. I have my cosplay planner, um, a notebook, uh, a bunch of paper, a folio, I think another notebook, and some manila folders, and then I have my scanner that I use to scan my artworks. So that is it for my desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my art supplies and stationery and how I store everything. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week with a new video. Take care.